Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part three of our bedroom budget makeover series. You know that in Kelly's bedroom, she had an existing Ikea mom that she used as a nightstand. What we did was purchase a second mom in the color of her choice, which is white. But what we need to do is refinish the Ikea mom that she previously had so that it matches the brand new white mom. This video is all about upscaling existing furniture you already have. Ikea Hacking 101. Seeing as how I am very pregnant, I usually do all of this DIY myself. However, with Kelly and Michelle assisting today, I'll be starting all of the prep work and they'll be finishing it off. First, we're gonna start with the mom and then we're gonna move on to the calyx. So let's jump right into it. For our first project today, we'll be starting with the IKEA Mom. You'll see that it's a three drawer dresser in this espresso laminate finish. What we want to do is refinish this entire piece and slap a brand new coat of white paint over it so it matches the brand new white IKEA Mom that we just purchased on Craigslist. For this project, you'll need a dust rag, a sanding block, gloves, paint and primer, a polyurethane finish, a foam roller, a paint tray, and a mask so you don't breathe in the dust. So you guys will notice with a lot of the IKEA furniture, there's a laminate finish right over particle board. What that means is that before you paint it, you have to do a lot of prep work. What you need to do is first disassemble all the drawers so you're painting the pieces separately. After you disassemble all of the drawers, you'll be putting on your gloves and then you'll be sanding down all of the finishes so that the new paint can adhere right on top of that. So after you're done sanding, you want to take a dust rag and clean up all of the dust this will help it prepare for the primer. Once you have your first coat of paint and primer on there, you want to set it and leave it to dry for a couple of hours or whatever the paint can says. So we have our drawers all painted, we have our base cabinet all painted, and now we're just going to wait and move on to the next project. So while we're waiting for the mom to dry, we're going to be moving on to the IKEA calyx. You can see that the calyx has got so many little compartments in it. We'll be using the same materials and the exact same steps. This is also a laminate over particle board, so we're going to have to sand this entire thing first and then get our first coat of base primer on there. A good rule of thumb when you're on a budget is to purchase a paint and primer in one. In this case, Kelly had leftover paint and primer from a previous project that we are reusing just to save on cost. But typically when you're refinishing laminate furniture, it's always best to get a primer specifically for laminate, have a coat of that primer first, and then finish off with a semi-gloss paint of your choice. Now that we've got the calyx all sanded down and free of debris and dust, we are going to get our first coat of paint and primer right on the surface. So once you've got your primer and your first base coat all over the calyx and the surface, you want to come back into the corners with a small paintbrush to get all those little last edges. So we waited a couple of hours and this first coat is dry, so now we are ready for our second coat while the calyx dries. All 
in a day's work. Now that the Malvin the Calyx has a second coat of paint on it, it looks like we don't need any more touch-ups. It's dry to the touch. We are ready for our sealer. So what you want to do is purchase a polyurethane sealer in the finish that you want. We want like a thicker coat on it, so we chose something in a semi-gloss. We'll just be rolling this on the surface with our foam roller. Imagine the polyurethane is like your top coat for nail polish. You want to give it a really good thick coat so that nothing chips underneath it. We're here at Savers, local thrift store, looking for the DIY handles for our mom. I always love to look at leather belts first just because they're a little thicker material and if we can find something here, great. If not, we'll move on to bags and then lastly, clothes because sometimes like the leather jackets or the suede jackets, they're a little bit thin so we want to find something heavy. Or like a light color. Ooh, Cal, this is cute. And 100% leather, which is perfect. We'll cut this up into little strips, and then we just need enough to make six handles on two moms. Okay, guys, I mean, I think this IKEA mom dresser looks amazing painted. I mean, the girls did such a great job. And now that there's this polyurethane finish on it, it's a perfect time for us to start putting on our handles. So here's all the materials that you need for this project. So the first thing that we need to do to make our own DIY handles is to measure our leather belt. You guys saw that we went shopping for this leather belt. It only cost us $5 and we're gonna make six brand new handles for our IKEA mom. So we're gonna have to cut this up. What you wanna do is investigate your belt. You'll see that there's a seam right here which can't be used. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is cut off this little seam and then cut off the other side since that's unusable. You'll pretty much cut off all the little areas that can't be used. I actually wanna hang on to this just in case we need it for something else. I think it's pretty cool. So now that you have your leather scraps all set up, you wanna make sure that you are going to make six identical pieces. I would use the shortest piece as my guide. Fold that in half and make sure you can get six out of them. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's perfect. So let's cut this guy in half. You wanna clean up the edges and make sure you have straight lines. leather hole puncher to make two holes that are roughly in the center. You could measure this with a tape measure, but since it's so small, I like to just eyeball it. So now that we've punched all the holes for all of our leather handles, we need to measure where this handle is gonna go in relation to the drawer. I need a little pocket so our fingers can slide through, and I know that the thickness of this belt is about four and a half inches. So we'll give it a little bit of room and maybe make it about four inches. So you'll split it in the middle where your center was and you'll go two inches on each side. And then we'll measure top and bottom and make sure that that's accurate as well. Perfect. So the next step is to pre-drill our holes so the handles go right in. You'll then repeat the measuring and the drilling on every single drawer. Now that you have all your holes drilled out, it's time to attach the handles to the drawer front. You'll need the leather handles, screws, and bolts to secure it in the back. The first thing you wanna do is put your screws right into the hole, and then we'll be screwing this right into the drawer front. You want to make sure that the bolt is just a perfect fit and that the front has enough room for you to put your hand right on through. We've got one handle down. I am loving the way this looks. So we've got two more to do on this drawer and then we have three more to do on our other mall.
And there you have it. Three brand new leather handles made from an old belt. And we got some screws and we did this for less than 20 minutes and it cost under $15. So for this next project, we will be upscaling these plain white boxes. These are the boxes that fit into the IKEA Calyx and you can purchase this at IKEA. I think they're $5 a box, but plain white cabinets are just not going to cut it for our brand new painted Calyx. So what we want to do is affix like a really fun wallpaper or wall covering to the front of it to add that pop of texture that we need for the space. So for this project, you'll need a box. You'll need scrap wallpaper or contact paper, spray adhesive, scissors, and a pencil. So our first step is to assemble the boxes. What we're going to be doing is cutting out the wallpaper so that it fits right on top of the front of our box. So when you're looking at the calyx, it has this really cool pattern right on the front of it. So what you want to do is unroll your wallpaper with the pattern side down. You want to flip your box right on top of it. You'll be tracing the box right over the paper, but you wanna make sure that you give it a little thickness so that you can fold it over the lid and it has nowhere to go. Okay, so using your pencil, you'll be marking that box right up. And we need to make a few of these, so I would just line them right up and mark your next box. Once you have your first box traced out, you wanna use your scissors and then cut where that traced area is. to the scraps because you never know what other art project you might need it for. Now that you have your wallpaper cut out, the idea is that you'll spray this directly onto the face of the box, like this. And then the top of it just wraps right underneath. However, since you have this little handle cut out right here, I would put the box right over the paper again, and then you can trace your little handle cut out. Now it's time to cut out your handle. You want to fold it right over so you make a little score and then start cutting around the handle. And there you have it. Here's your first box. We'll be spraying this directly on and then we'll glue that inside as well. You want to flatten the edges with your hands make sure the hole is completely aligned and then fold this top flap in and there you have it an upscaled plain white box using scrap paper and spray adhesive you guys enjoyed this video I know that was a doozy and I just want to show you that you can accomplish all of these DIY projects in one day all you need is the right materials the right supplies helping hands if you're pregnant like I am and just a little bit of hard work and a lot of creativity thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel remember this is only part three of our budget makeover series in the next video you'll see how we put all of this together all of the furniture in place, style it up, make it look amazing, and it will be the bedroom of Kelly's dreams. See you in the next one.